Good day, it's Tony Fortune out from the technology firm. I want to share a little tip with you with a uh, new feature, if you want to call it that, with Wireshark. And it's an edit, how to edit a packet. So I'm going to go to edit and preferences. And down here at the bottom, you can see enable packet editor. I've got mine checked off. You want to check it off, obviously, if you want to play with it. And it says experimental, of course. So we preface that with, ooh, you know, get scared. You're on your own, that sort of thing. You're at your own risk. But it can't really break anything. So you're just nice to play with. Let's see how it goes. Click OK. And now what I'm going to do is just simply start a capture on my Ethernet adapter. And I'm going to look for CDP packets as an example. Now you can change uh, any data within the packet. I'm just going to use this as a very simple example. There are tools out there today currently that will change your MAC address, that will change your IP address or sanitize your trace file. But um, I've yet to run into one that will easily change the payload within the packet. So that's what we're going to do here. It's slightly different. And oh, look, there you go. CDP just popped up right on cue. Awesome. And from here, we'd like to edit this. Let's assume the device ID here, Dexter. I don't like that. I don't want people to see that because it's my company name or something secret. Who knows? I'm going to stop my capture here. I'm going to right click here. I'm going to edit packet. And I'm going to just stretch this guy down. And there it is device ID, Dexter. Double click, click, click. And you can see I'm going to change this to, I don't know, Tony. How's that? And when I change it to Tony, uh, now your checksum is incorrect, right? Because you changed the data. So to, if you want to make this look proper, you would fix your checksum as well. So it says here it should be 637 Charlie. So click, click. 637 Charlie. OK. There you go. So now it's correct. See that? Now we'll just close this. And, and just don't, don't let this throw you. It still says the old device ID. Just don't worry about that. Just save it. So we're going to save it. And we'll just call it new. I don't know, something to call it. And we'll go to File, Open Recent, New. And you can see now it says Tony, and I have the correct checksum. There you go. So hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.